In order to sufficiently grow their power to destroy both the Jedi Order and the Republic, and ultimately rule the galaxy, Darth Bane concluded that the Sith had to remain hidden from the galaxy and operate in secret, using subterfuge and deception to carry out their grand plan. No Sith employed this deception better than Darth Sidious, who was able to rise to the position of Supreme Chancellor of the Galactic Republic and interact face-to-face -face with the galaxy's most powerful Jedi, all while concealing his true identity. But the question needs to be asked, how was Palpatine able to rise from a senator from the near Outer Rim planet of Naboo to Supreme Chancellor, let alone work side by side with the Jedi, without any of the Jedi uncovering the fact that he was a Dark Lord of the Sith? In this video expose, I will describe how Darth Sidious was able to use his exceptionally powerful abilities in the Dark Side of the Force, as well as how he benefited from the legacy of the Sith who'd come to Coruscant thousands of years before him to remain hidden from the Jedi, allowing Darth Sidious to fulfill Darth Bane's grand plan of eradicating the Jedi Order and Galactic Republic and position the Sith to rule the galaxy. Darth Sidious was able to conceal his true identity from the Jedi through his exceptionally powerful abilities and knowledge in the Force. Important for the purposes of this video, Darth Sidious, as well as his master Darth Plagueis for that matter, was skilled enough in the Force that he could hide his true identity through the ability of Force Stealth, also known as Force Concealment. Other Force sensitives who were powerful enough in the Force to utilize Force Stealth were Revan, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Yoda. By having the ability to use Force Stealth, Darth Sidious was able to mask his alignment with the dark side of the Force, and even his ability to use the Force, from the Jedi, thereby allowing him to continue to manipulate events in the galaxy in order to further bring about the successful completion of the grand plan started by Darth Bane 1,000 years prior. Although Darth Sidious's ability to use the Force to conceal his true identity from the Jedi is important, a further, and much more interesting aspect of his success to stay hidden from the Jedi is due to the weakening of the Jedi's ability to use the Force as a result of an ancient Sith shrine that was located underneath the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Roughly 6,000 years before the Clone Wars, at a time when the Sith dominated the galaxy, the Sith built a shrine on the planet of Coruscant. Over the course of the next millennium, the Jedi Order subsequently defeated the Sith Order, resulting in Coruscant falling back into the control of the Jedi. Once back in control of Coruscant, the Jedi made a decision to build their Jedi Temple over the Sith Shrine's foundation that had been built by the Sith roughly 1,000 years earlier, a decision the Jedi Order would surely come to regret, as this choice would come to aid in the annihilation of the Jedi by Darth Sidious. The Jedi made the decision to build their Jedi Temple on Coruscant over the Sith Shrine as an attempt to symbolically bury and abrogate the devastating legacy that the Sith had left behind on the planet and to illustrate the reinstatement of the Jedi Order. However, the Jedi, including those existing during the rise of Darth Sidious, erred in thinking that constructing their Jedi Temple on top of the Sith Shrine could render its dark side energy mute and negate its effects. In reality, and unbeknownst to the Jedi Order, the Sith Shrine remained active. The inherent dark power of the Sith Shrine seeped upwards and outwards, permeating the Jedi Temple that lay above it without anyone in the Jedi Order being aware of this fact. This infiltration of the Jedi Temple's hallways and rooms by the dark side power springing upward from the Sith Shrine had a devastating effect on the Jedi Order, as it slowly weakened them without their knowledge for millennia. Darth Sidious was a direct beneficiary of the Sith Shrine's presence under the Jedi Temple, as he was able to utilize this wellspring of dark side energy to his advantage, since it clouded the visions of the Jedi High Council. Further, and importantly for the purposes of this video, the dark side energy that percolated up from the Shrine played an important role in Palpatine's success in masking his true identity and preventing the Jedi from determining that he was a Dark Lord of the Sith ultimately allowing Darth Sidious to covertly manipulate events in a manner that would allow him to successfully carry out the grand plan. We see just how active and powerful the Sith Shrine remained through Darth Sidious's decision to excavate it from under the Jedi Temple, following the destruction of the Jedi Order and the rise of the Galactic Empire, which by that time had been converted into the Imperial Palace. Still powerful in its dark side energy, Darth Sidious used the Sith Shrine as his private sanctum, in which he would spend countless hours meditating on the nature of the dark side. So there we go. 
How Darth Sidious was able to successfully conceal his true identity and stay hidden from the Jedi despite being right in front of them. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions? Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me, for do it.